very excited to say that DJI kept their promise. They said that they were going to get this thing right here, which is the smart controller uh, available for the Mavic Air 2, which they just did uh, a couple days ago. So bye bye this controller, which is, you know, this was a good controller, actually kind of the, the same shape factor if you want, but this thing is pretty awesome. I fly it with the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom. So I'm excited that now I can have one controller to control actually three different drones. So I'm gonna show you how to actually update this thing. There's two methods to do the software update on here so that it's actually compatible with the Mavic Air 2. Uh, not a whole lot more that uh, you need to do, which is pretty exciting. So the first way that you're gonna do this is you're just gonna turn on the controller and then we're gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna show you how you can find it in the settings and do the update. When I did this process earlier today, it did not work the way that I wanted. It kept stalling. I kept having issues with the, um, the network and everything. So where I'm gonna show you how do you actually do it. If it works for you, then fine. If not, then I'm gonna show you how to actually do it on the laptop using a USB-C cable. So here's a USB-C and I'm using a Mac uh, and then I have USB-C on both sides. So I'm using a USB-C to USB-C cable right here. And at the bottom, of your uh, smart controller right here, you have a USB-C port. So let's go ahead and just do this first inside of the controller so you can see how you can do it from the menu. And if that doesn't work for you, then we'll move to the next one and then do it on here. So what we're gonna do to update is actually very simple. Once you power it on your device, you're just going to swipe from the top right here. And we are going to go to the uh, icon right here with the wheel. And we're gonna scroll down uh, all the way until you get to system update. System update, click on it, and then it's going to look for it. Now, I've already updated mine, unfortunately, so you can't really see the process, but here, uh, if you if you pressed on it, it's telling me it's the latest version, but if it's not, then it would tell you how to update. You just basically click update, and then it's gonna go through the process. Now, I had issues with mine. This didn't work at all. Uh, it kept failing, and it kept coming back and failing again, so I stopped, and then I went on the computer, which is what I'm gonna show you now. So as you can see, this didn't work too well on this controller right here. So I'm gonna to try to do it through the Mac instead. So the one thing that you'll need to, in order to do this is you'll need to download the software from DJI. And that software is the DJI Assistant software. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually find it. And the way that you do it is you go to the smart controller page right in here. And then you go to the uh, download section. So downloads right here. And uh, here it is, V02.14. Now, if you have a Mavic Air 2 already and you've already gone through the process to update the drone using the, the, uh, the DJI Assistant, then you already said this is the same software. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just load up the DJI Assistant, which I have it open right here, but this is my DJI Assistant. So all I have to do really is I'm gonna plug in my USB into my computer. I'm gonna plug in my USB right here into the bottom of the controller. And then the controller is turned on already. So I'm going to wait for my software, my computer to recognize the device. And then from here, we'll go ahead and update it. So once the computer finds the DJI controller, you'll see it's gonna say, it's gonna say use on here. It says use USB to charge this device, transfer files, transfer. I'm not gonna do anything in here. I'm just gonna to go to DJI smart controller right here. And I'm gonna wait a second until um, it tells me what is going on now. This is typical, um, typical for, unfortunately for the DJI assistant on my computer, for some reason, it just never finds the network. So what I have to do is I have to turn into my iPhone and use my iPhone as a hotspot. Never understood why. I have the same issue with the Ronan S. I have the same issue with uh, the Mavic uh, devices. It always is a mess. So if I click retry, then it's gonna eventually find the network and it's gonna find the list of all the different devices. So let's wait a second and see what happens. So now it finally worked and you can see here, there's a current version and there's the latest version. So I'm going to upgrade to this version. It says, make sure you connect it to the internet. The device uh, DJI is powered on, which it is. And then we have USB connection. So I'm gonna start downloading this. And then hopefully by the end of this, we'll have an updated software and we will be able to plug in our Mavic Air 2. So let's come back when it's done. All right, this process is finally done. This has taken almost 40 minutes. So this is not for the faint of heart. Uh, there were several issues along the process, but I think we get it fixed. So 
if I click on the smart controller, hopefully now we will find it in, in the list. So now it's still connected to my computer. Uh, and then here, there it is. So the latest version is updated, which is awesome. So now we're gonna try, I'm gonna take the, uh, the drone if I can find it in my office. So I'm gonna close the laptop. I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna close the laptop. And then I'm just gonna basically start the drone right here. And then we I'm going to wait a few minutes. We'll see what happens. It's gonna, it should pop up on the screen when I click connect. Tap connect. Here's Mavic Air 2, look at that. There it is, it's on the screen. It says Mavic Air 2 and I can tap on it and it's gonna be switching. So I'm guessing that it's binding right now to the controller. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we need to do. Press and hold the power button on the underside of the aircraft for four seconds. So I was holding, this is kind of a misnomer. It basically says to press the power button. So I was holding the power button here for four seconds and it eventually did it. Now it's asking me to enter a name. Here's the Fly app. So the Fly app is, the, the reason why this wasn't working before is because DJI using the Go4 app as opposed to the Fly app. So the Fly app is getting installed right now on this device. And, um, and that's kind of what they needed to do is they needed to run the Fly app on this uh, smart controller. And I think it's good now. So, yep, there you go. Here's a little intro video for the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Air 2. I'm gonna skip it. Terms of use, yes. All the data that, uh, that's fine. And I'm gonna log in right now. With and once you're done with this, then uh, it's gonna give you the user guide. It tells you about finding a spot, pre-flight checklist, and then some basic skills. I don't really need those, but those are that's pretty cool that they have it in here. And there it is, Mavic Air 2, just like it would look on the DJI Fly app. And I'm gonna go fly. And uh, yep, there it is. Here's, uh, here's the studio back there. And it looks like it's got all the functionality, so finally worked. It's exciting. So if you have any questions about this whole process, please leave your question down here and I'll hopefully be able to help you. But as you can tell, this is not a simple process. It's gonna take you probably, I would put an hour aside to do this just because it's, uh, it's a long process.